Hi there, and welcome to the What's New video for QImage Ultimate 2021. In the 2021 edition, we focus on user customizations and the ability to use layouts the way you want them. Let me start out in a folder here that I have some pictures that Fred and I took when we visited Solomon's Castle. It's a local attraction here. Um, I will show you first a feature that's been improved by adding some prints under the IntelliCenter placement mode. So QImage is going to automatically arrange these prints as we go. And I just have a 5 by 7 size selected and 13 by 19 paper. So we'll start out. We'll add a picture of Solomon's Cat, the outdoor dining area. This is called the Boat in the Moat. It's a little restaurant. It's a ship replica. So I'll add that. Add another print here. There's one here at the bottom. Here's Fred taking a picture of me, taking a picture of him. So we have some prints on the page, and QImage has laid them out efficiently on the paper. But we don't always want to cut these 5x7s individually. Sometimes we want to just create a page to display somewhere. So before we had a feature called Image Lock, and you essentially had to activate that before you started your job and it was a little bit different than other features. Now it's been made a lot easier to use and a lot more flexible. So let's say we don't want these pictures rotated. We don't want this picture on its side and we don't want Fred on his side either because he might scream, I've fallen and I can't get up. So let's correct that now. I'll just click on the page and click Control A to select all the prints on the page. And we notice there's a new button here now called Auto Print Rotation. And auto print rotation is on right now, which is giving QImage the permission to rotate prints however it wants to fill the page. But we can turn this off by clicking it. And now when we turn it off, we see that all the prints are upright. They're in the same orientation as the thumbnail. So Fred standing back up, this picture is the way it should be, and so on. So now we have the flexibility to do this on the fly to any print that we want to do it with. And it just makes things a lot easier if that was your intention to print everything in the same orientation on the page. So here all the prints are already selected and I can turn it back on. And when I turn auto print rotation back on, it goes back to allowing QImage to just do it automatically on a print by print basis. So that's one feature to make things a little bit easier. But we've also made a lot of changes and improvements to the layout format. So let me show you that now. I'll just get all these prints off the page, start over from scratch. I'm in IntelliCenter mode here. If you're not familiar with layouts, it's a way to create your own layout on the page exactly the way you want it. And you might do that if you have a frame that has specific window sizes in different locations, or you just have packages that you want to create for people. So the way that I layout is typically created is to go to the bottom of the thumbnails and there's this thumbnail, special thumbnail called template. And you can add templates to the page. Let's add like three five by sevens. And now let's customize it a little bit. Maybe this one, I want a three and a half by five instead. So I'll change the size of that. Maybe I just move it a little bit. And let's say for whatever reason, this is the layout I want to use. So I might save this now that I've created it. And all we have to do is do save current as a custom layout. And I'll just overwrite a test version that I had here and say save. OK to overwrite. And yes, I want to start using this layout now. So now we're in the layout called album test that we just saved. And when we click plus on the thumbnails, you can see that it adds thumbnails as we go. And again, you're not limited to this layout, but that's just the layout that you design. It's going to put prints. Even if you continue on more pages, it's going to keep every page to the layout that you chose. And let's get rid of this page, remove page. And now we just have page one. Let's say, OK, let me take Fred out of this one, and I'll clear this one. And I'm going to take Fred 
and move him by dragging him and dropping him into this one because that's my portrait template. So I'd rather see that one there. And this one, I can either drag this picture over here and drop it, or when you click plus, it'll fill the first blank template anyway. So I'll just click plus, and that one goes in there. So this is how layouts work, and that's no different than prior versions. But let me show you what's been added to make things a lot easier. Um, first of all, I'll show you a new feature here. Go back to IntelliCenter. Let me just clear this out again, too. And I'm going to go to an 8.5 by 11 page here. So I'm on an 8.5 by 11 page. And I have some layouts in here that were designed for 13 by 19 paper. So you might think, well, that's not going to work. 13 by 19 layout is not going to fit on an 8.5 by 11 page. But when I save the layout, I saved it with printer settings. So I have this layout that was saved with printer settings, and I called it album cover. That's, I know that that's on 13 by 19 paper. I could have put that in the file name if I wanted to specify that and be able to find it easily. But this layout is for 13 by 19 paper. And when I open it, you'll notice the paper size up here. When I open that, it will automatically load all of the settings for that layout as I designed it. So now I know that this layout's ready to go because I intend to print that on semi-gloss 13 by 19 paper. So I can load that back now when I load the layout. And not only that, but I can start putting pictures in this layout. Like my album cover, I might want some generic pictures like this in there for the cover of the album. And now I'm thinking, all right, I want to do the inside pages now, but that's a different layout. So I can click on this load here, load custom layout again, and pick a different layout. This time I'll choose album inside. And when I click on these, you notice there's a small preview of what that layout looks like. So I know, yeah, that looks like the inside pages for my album. Let me load that. And I'm prompted, do you want to reformat the first page, which is in a different layout, or do you want to keep the first page as it is and just start using this layout from this point forward? So I'm going to say keep. And when I say keep, it creates a page two in the new layout. These are the inside pages. And the first page, it just leaves alone. That was my cover layout. And now if I go to page two, this is my inside pages layout. And I can start adding prints to that as I like. And as I go, again, you can click the plus on a thumbnail or if you'd rather take an image and drag it and drop it in the template that you want, you can do that instead. But the plus will simply add the picture to the first available template. So if I click the plus here, it's going to put it right here. And if I keep going, it'll keep following the layout. The next page, will bring up that layout again, and it'll continue forward. So we see two things here that have been added. One is the fact that you can now save and load printer settings with a layout so that you're sure that everything's set up the way that you want it for that layout. It's not required because when you load a custom layout, you can choose not to load the printer settings and just leave them alone because you've made changes or something. But be aware that if you do that, the layout has to be compatible with the paper that you're using if you're not going to load the printer settings. So generally, I would have to have a 13 by 19 sheet to load a 13 by 19 layout. But it just makes it a lot easier now when printer settings are saved with your layout, you don't have to worry about that. It'll automatically go back to the paper and the printer and the size of the paper that you want. So that's a, a really cool feature that will allow you to easily use layouts and know that you're getting exactly the way you designed the layout. Of course, as with most things in QImage, you can customize things. Just because your layout starts out like this, because that's how you design the page, and once again, let's just add a couple more pictures here. Um, you have a layout that will be formed or will fill as you designed it, but you're not limited to doing things that way. You can decide that I want a different picture here, so let me get this one out of here, and it brings the empty template back up so you can take another picture and drag it in there instead. Or you might add, let's say, you might add a picture to this template here, 
and then decide, I don't particularly want that for this, so I'll delete the picture. And then you can even delete the templates themselves and get rid of them. So the goal here is full customization, allowing you to do what you want, design things the way you want, be able to modify them. And at this point, I've edited this page. And if I just start adding more prints, it'll go forward and leave this page alone. But the next page will continue with the layout that I'm using. And again, it will fill the prints the way they're designed. And you're still free to modify them if you like. So hopefully these features will allow you to quickly and easily design pages the way you want them, modify them, use different setups for different printers, and you won't have to use one of the automatic layouts if you don't want to. You can switch to IntelliCenter and everything will be automatically laid out for you. Or let me get rid of these one last time and show you one more feature here. Let's uh, put a five by seven on the page and one more five by seven. The layout placement method is essentially just another placement method. These ones up top, they're all different types of automated placement methods. The Qmage will lay out the prints the way you want them based on the placement method you chose. But if you want to switch to a layout at any time, it's just another placement method. The last layout that I used was called Album Inside. So I'm now in IntelliCut. As you can see, that's an automatic placement method. If I want to switch over to my preferred layout, which is the last one I use, I can just click here. And those two prints will be placed in that layout. And you can move forward with it. Or you can switch back, go back to an automatic mode, if you like. Go back to IntelliCut. So it's just a very easy way to switch around, use your own layouts, design your own pages, and be able to find them easily, use them, and make sure that all your printer settings are set up each time that you use a layout. Thanks for watching.